In our first video on the imperative, we saw how commands in Russian can have three slightly different endings. Some have ikratke, some have i, and others have the makiznak, the soft sign. In this video, we'll cover the second type with the letter i. Let's look at gvarit. We'll start with the ani form, the third person plural. We'll drop the ending, and now we're left with a consonant at the end. And that means we need to check one more thing, the stress of the ya form. So, ya gvaryu. When the ya form is stressed on the ending, on that last syllable, then we'll add e to the stem to get gvari, or for plural and formal, gvarite. Let's try another, skazat. The ani form is skazut. We'll drop the ending, and since that stem ends in a consonant, we'll check the stress of the ya form, ya skazu. It's stressed on the ending, so we can just add e to get skazi, skazite. This one shows us why it's so important to use the stem of the ani form. We cannot safely get the imperative directly from the infinitive. Now what if you want to tell someone to buy something? Let's try kupit. Ani kupit. We'll drop the ending. The stem ends in a consonant, so we'll check the stress of the ya form. Ya kuplu. Stress is on the ending, so again we'll add i. Kupi. Notice how we have L in the ya form, ya kuplu, but that really doesn't matter since we're always going from the stem of the ani form. We only need to check the stress of the ya form here. And as we saw in the last video, we use the same approach no matter what aspect a verb is. Notice how even though pakupat and kupit are an aspectual pair, the imperative forms do look a little bit different. The stem of pakupat ends in a vowel letter, so we add ikratka, pakupai. But the stem of kupit happens to end in a consonant, and since there's end stress in the ya form, kuplu, we add i, kupi. And there is one kind of exception that you may see occasionally. A verb like pomnit has not just a consonant at the end of the stem, but a cluster of two consonants. And when that happens, we don't need to check the stress of the ya form, we'll just add i, pomni, pomnite. Summing up. As before, to make a command, we start with the stem of the ani form. If that stem ends in a consonant letter, then we need to check the stress of the ya form. If the ya form is stressed on the ending, then we add i, or itie, to the stem of the ani form for the command. Remember that we're just checking the stress of the ya form. It doesn't matter if the stem of the ya form is different, since we're always just working from the stem of the ani form.